What's up, everybody? I'm Joe here, doing another video. Like, uh, I don't know if it's me or you, but I thought I said in several videos I did over the years that I've been doing this. So I always that I always says watch what you're saying do on the internet because the internet can be your smoking gun. And because like I said, people post the dumbest shit up on Facebook, Twitter, or uh, Tumblr. And shit like this, where people social social sites like that, and especially Facebook people, like I don't know what's wrong with these people, but they do it. But this kid that you see named Jacob Kantz Brown posted on his Facebook saying that he was drinking and driving and had a had an accident. And he like he was proud about it. He posted in that like he was proud about it. It says an Oregon teenager has landed himself in the county jail for what what must be one of the dumbest Facebook griefs ever. Posting about his driving drunk driving hit and run. See what I'm saying? Drunk driving classic but to whoever vehicle I hit, I'm sorry. Was the was the pretty early morning post this quickly led to the uh, to the at home arrest of Jacob Cox Brown in Oregon Coast City and I, I stood up and I scratched my head when I read this shit I said are you kidding me some kid outed himself on Facebook and many times I tell people in my videos watch what you say and do on the internet because it can be your smoking gun and this dumbass boy see he looks he should listen to me man and they definitely kept his ass out of trouble it says upon reading cox cox brown pose two of the 18 year olds facebook friends his friends outed his ass contacted the police department to report it it became a viral information after two officers responded to a 1 a.m. report of a hit and run, which left a white vehicle plus a, like I said, man, damage in a parking lot, parking spot, after collecting pieces of the damage, tail light bumper coverage, cover the police received tips about the Facebook post and the overhead to the homecoming homecoming of Cox Brown they arrested a young man charged him with two counts of falling to perform the duty of a driver nearly nine hours like saying nine hours later uh, saying that the job was no longer in his car deputy chief so Yahoo which is why there was no driving while intoxicated charge he was held in uh, uh, county jail and released on his own recovery and is scheduled to appear in court January 23rd and he left and I actually found the boys uh, Facebook page I actually did and I'm going to show you in the put it in the description box because it's stupid that this kid did this it's stupid man why would you out yourself no he j it's not just his friend look to me I can't blame the friends because the friends might have outed him, but he outed himself by posting it on Facebook. Don't you know police and F police FBI agents and C and uh, CIA agents roam that site looking for people to fuck up and post whatever? And you, well, you probably said, that, "Well, they can't do that." Well, yes, they can. They're the government, so they go on everybody's profile looking at their posts to see what they post on their Facebook even their Twitter or Tumblr to see if they said anything to incriminate themselves and this boy was stupid enough to do that they said the police uh, and also says the police have an active social media press the police said in the press release it was a private Facebook message to one of our officers that got the case moving though 
when you post on Facebook you have to figure that it is not going to stay private long also Johnston told Yahoo we actually use Facebook to find things not unlike this see they if they even said the police even said we find things like this on Facebook but not like this it tells you right there that they find things on Facebook to dock your ass up with you're stupid enough to do it it says Cox Brown's Facebook is filled with telling clues about the young man's and shit about state vehicles and his favorite including mommy needs a beer and lift truck USA while smoking blunts and rolling four range rangers and listening among of his activities the 18 year old now joins a ro roster of not too not so bright Facebook unusual who get got themselves into hot water while with the law including Joseph Bernard Campbell who was arrested in Florida for cyber stalking a 19, 19 women and putting putting some photos of them on Facebook a group a Nevada girls arrested after posting an event called attack a teacher in London Ellen of Philadelphia who was taken into custody after posting I will pay somebody a stack to kill my baby's dad, my baby's father. And I'm with the story in the description box too, because, because like I said, man, I just read off some of the people that outed themselves. This Joseph Campbell guy was arrested in Florida for stalking 19 women. A group of girls in Nevada was ar <clears throat> was arrested for posting a event called "Attack a Teacher Day." Somebody in in London who is taken into custody after posting I will pay somebody a stack to kill my baby's daddy and to, and, and to sit up there this fucker named Jacob Cox Brown stupid enough to sit up there and out himself on Facebook how many fucking times do I gotta say this to people watch what you say and do because the internet can be your fucking smoking gun and it's always somebody young between the ages of uh, probably 12, 12, yeah, 12 to 30 years old or 35 doing this. And y'all, and y'all, don't act so shocked when this shit comes out, man. Don't. Don't. I got to a point where I got so fucking used to it. Because some dumbass kid thought he was badass Billy Gunn and think he can pose shit like this and get away with it. I'm not shocked. To me, when I find out shit like this, man, what do I do? Put it out there to show the world how much of a dumbass these people these people are. This guy is a dummy. Gonna post that he was in a hit and run, a hit and run accident, and he's like, yeah, I, I killed somebody. Don't like for real. Are you like are you that fucking stupid? Did your mom drop your ass on your head? Did you eat paint chips as a kid? But nobody shouldn't be posting anything like it on on Facebook, Twitter, or Tumblr. Because you gotta know the police are looking at you, the FBI, the CIA, the IRS. America's most wanted caught one dude like that. Caught one criminal like that. The dude was stupid enough. He you know what happened was there was a kid his mother used to deliver conf like deliver newspaper to this store to sell and the and the mother knew the store owner so she had a son that she took care of care of he's like 15 16 years old he comes around skate park and he, he comes around on the skateboard or bike whatever just to chill out he was asking his mom for money to help him out, uh, to get something. Till some dude walks up to you, say, "You want to make some money?" So they told, so the guy told his mom and his and that boy what to do. The boy came over with the, the with this guy that he did not know. That was wearing trash bags and all this and that. Don't you know, man? They robbed the guy. They blinded one, 
blinded him in one eye they shot him and took his money so the mother and the son got caught because they confessed to the crime but the other guy the stranger that they did not know ran away ran off he escaped but they found him four states away at a library on Facebook and he got arrested see what I'm saying Facebook can be the smoking gun Twitter Tumblr YouTube you're incriminating yourself every time you post something up on these on these social networks and for real people need to act stop acting so surprised when this shit happens on a daily basis you should probably say, oh my god, because I, I know there's people out there going, oh my god, this really happened on Facebook, like holy, holy shit, I didn't I know. Like, bitch, how many stories did you hear about some kid or somebody, uh, some adult posting their, posting their criminal evidence about, on them, about themselves or whatever on Facebook or Twitter or YouTube or Tumblr? Every day there's something like this. I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised. I like said to me, it's like yes, man. They need to, like for real, man. If you if you if you're a parent and you got a kid at home, you need to just go and cut off the internet, sell your computer, don't buy him no, I them tablets, the iPad, the iPhone, the smartphone, any other shit, man. Cause one thing is they be stupid enough to post shit like this again. Oh, they, oh, you can say, oh, they can run all their friends out. Not if they do the same damn thing. Not if the parents do the same damn thing. But it's like this, man. Kids are stupid. They don't know what the fuck they're doing. And it's the parents' job to teach them from right from wrong. And it seems like this boy's parents didn't teach him well enough. Now this boy's going to be sent up in jail town getting his booty hole poked out because his parents didn't teach him a damn thing. I'm tired of waking up hearing stories about this shit or reading stories. Even though I don't believe the media or anything like that, you can't believe everything you read on the internet or on t on the news or in newspaper or magazines because it's all f fiction. But to see this, this is why I give shit special attention. Because I'm showing the face of your kid this could be your kid, it can be your niece, it can be your nephew, it can be a cousin, it can be one of your relatives. Sitting behind a jail sitting in a jail cell because they was too, too damn ignorant to do the right thing. So they incriminate themselves and they get locked up. And it's and I'm s I'm like I said, man, this is stupid. It gets it gets you nowhere just to fuck yourself over. Just to fuck yourself over, man. It makes no sense that anybody would do this to themselves because they think it's cool to post their criminal acts on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, or Tumblr or any other social sites out there. And that's how it is. I was born at night but not last night. And that's how it is with me, man. I see this shit and it makes me want to smack the shit out of this boy and say, what the fuck is wrong with you? I hope he does go to jail. Let this boy do. Well, he's an adult. He's over eighteen. He's eighteen. That means he's gonna be not going to juvenile. He be going to fucking jail. If somebody got hurt in that car, that's not a beer. To tell you that, I'm not drinking a beer, but but this, he's going to jail. He's gonna be somebody's bitch. If he hurt somebody, if somebody got hurt in that car, Ray, oh, he's going to prison. So with a deadly weapon, it's the fucking car. If they would have died, he would have went to prison for murder. And he would never see daylight again because he was so damn ignorant. People, I'm telling you this, teach your kids to do the right thing. Teach your kids to do the right thing. But I'm telling you this. I'm gonna post this story in the, in the description box, and I'm gonna post this Facebook in the description box because that's uh, that's what I'm, 
because one thing is he needs to learn this lesson. You probably shouldn't be saying, ain't you criminating him? He criminating. Hell yeah, I'm criminating him even. Not incriminating, but showing he, everybody this is the face of your this is the face of your kids fucking up and, and all this shit. Do something before they fuck themselves out of a life. Out of their lives or whatever. Man, just to see some kid throw his life away because of Facebook, Twitter, or Tumblr, or whatever shit. I'm 28, man. I'm, I'm sitting up here looking at these kids like back when I was their age, man. We didn't know what a Twitter, Tumblr, Facebook. We had what? MySpace? MySpace. I ain't, like, see, back then, I didn't know what a MySpace was. I really didn't get on the internet that much. Because I was hanging with my people, my friends. But now look at it. Ten years later, man, kids are fucking themselves out of a lifetime. Because they are so fucking ignorant. You can send them to school to get them an education, but that's not enough. They're learning. It hasn't. See, once they go to graduate from high school, their learning never stops. They can go to college after they graduate from high school. And that's four years. So they'd be like, what, 22 when they graduate? Their learning, it has not stopped. The brain does not stop growing. Until they hit 25, so you still have time to teach their teach your kids to do the right thing. Now you tell them don't go to parties, don't be sitting up here, oh, drinking your life away, partying all the time because what's they gonna get you? Jail cell or at the more. You can tell them that, or you can take the ass over there and say this that this this guy killed himself because he was partying so hard and got alcohol poisoning. I saw a dude. I was talking about the. I was, I was watching what E investigates in like spring break, where kids who got alcohol poisoning. One kid fell off a banister and died because he broke his neck on the way down. Kids in college, kids in high school, dying during spring break. Same with summer, dying through summer. Even weekends, dying over the weekends. But this is so fucking ignorant, man. Why do why do people even have kids? That's one question I gotta ask. If you know the world is like this, man, where kids are committing crimes, why even have a child? That's one question. Do you want to bring a child into the world where you see you seeing kids committing crimes? That you see kids going to prison more than an adult is. You see kids murdering, like they're killing people, they're selling drugs, they're stealing, they're raping, they're molesting. There's been kids to between from 12 to 12 to 19 molesting kids younger than them, and, and y'all still act like ah, I'm so shocked. Don't be shocked. Don't be surprised. Because you know it's already happening in today's society. But you want to play this stupid ass game. Oh, I'm shocked. I didn't know what was going on. You did know what was going on. You just want to play fucking stupid. Be a re -re. That's how it is, man. You grow the fuck up, everybody, man. And start taking care of business at home. Where can... Hey, if you find out that your kids got in trouble like this, man. Hey, I caught it. Just called about. Hey man, I'm taking my vacation right now. I'm about to be. I'm about to do some ass whooping. I'm about to do some ass whooping. I see you on Monday, and just hang up and start tearing that ass up, man. Oh, we can't whoop and fuck that shit, man. Beat the shit out of them. When they hit 18 and they go to jail, you have every fucking right to beat the shit out of them. That's how I see it. Cause I'm tired of sitting up here hearing about these kids doing all this shit, man. I'm like, they, there's even kids that get put in, put in prostituting because they get kidnapped right off the streets, right from their homes, right off the school bus, right outside of the school, and forced into prostitution, man. And what, prostitute, uh, trafficking, human trafficking. Every time you go to a truck stop. There's young kids prostitu prostituting at a truck stop. 
And people didn't know that they are, oh, I didn't know that. Yes, you did. You're just playing stupid. Your daughter's out there prostituting out, prostituting out there at the truck stop. They're going to a motel hotel. And y'all ask, oh, my baby, oh, my baby, kidnapped. Uh, like, if your child gets kidnapped, check the truck stop, check the cheap motels, hotels, and you can probably find your child. If you check those places. But that's how it is, man. Kids are, are being more stupid today, man. I think parents need to wake up and realize, man, that this shit does go on out there in the world. They think they, I think they need to do their fucking job and be a parent. I'm just telling like it is. Don't slack on your job. Be a parent, teach your kids something. But that's how it is with me. Well, this has been Afro Joe Town, like a T.I. is again. And I just want to say is, man, do the right thing. Teach your kids, man, from right from wrong. Their brains not stop growing yet. This has been Afro Joe. Holla at me. Follow me on Twitter at Afro Joe the Wookie. Follow me on Tumblr. That post in the description box. Subscribe to my channel, C. Lo Junior 2, C. Junior 3. And I'll see y'all. I'll put the story in the description box. I will put his Facebook page in the description box y'all gotta sign in though you can't just uh, you just gotta sign in just to see his page okay you can write all the hate and all this and that man to him because he's an ignorant ass don't cyber but like hold on don't cyber bully him just tell him hey that was just stupid for you to do that don't say i hope you hang yourself or something don't cyber bully his ass don't don't just tell him hey man that was childish of you doing that. I think you should never did that. Something like that. Just to show him that you made a that bad decision. I think you need to think about what you do what you do before you do it. Think before you act. That's what you should be saying. That's that for Joe. Peace, love, and Afro Grease. <laughs>